New Orleans, Louisiana. August 28th, 2005. It's midnight and business as usual on the city's famed Bourbon Street. But this is just the calm before the storm. A storm named Katrina. Night bleeds into day. There's 10 hours to go before the Category 5 hurricane hits land. Tens of thousands finally heed the mayor's mandatory evacuation call. But news photographer Doug Kiesling stays behind to document the destruction. It's a night he'll never forget. Just after 6 p.m., the rains come. As the outer bands of the storm sweep in, downtown New Orleans becomes a virtual ghost town, an eerie sign of what's to come. 12.15 a.m., Katrina explodes onto land. 125 mile per hour winds tear through the city. Heavy rainfall in low-lying areas quickly inundates the streets. Even worse, the waters of Lake Pontchartrain are already spilling over its banks. And with the average elevation of the city between one and two feet below sea level, catastrophe is imminent. By 7 a.m., winds reach 140 miles per hour. Not even reinforced office buildings can withstand the awesome power. Those still stuck in the city can only hope to brace themselves against the onslaught. By 8.30, Doug can barely see even a few feet ahead of him. Suddenly, he comes across a waterlogged resident who confirms everyone's worst fears. I don't know whether that water's coming over that levee or what, because the water started rising so high in my two-story apartment, I had to get out. The levees have been breached. All around town, the water level is quickly climbing. Doug knows if he doesn't get out of the city fast, he could be filming his final moments on Earth. This is really bad. Canals overflow, and roads become rivers as the cameraman searches for a path out of town. When he reaches the interstate, he finds his escape route under six feet of water. Doug must backtrack and drive through debris-filled streets to reach an on-ramp farther west. But once again, he's blocked by the flood. This time, just a few car lengths from freedom. As the newsman navigates through increasingly submerged byways, he calls his contacts with an ominous message. This whole place is going underwater. Finally, Doug finds another entrance onto the interstate. He's on his way out, but not before getting one last taste of Katrina's ferocity. A downed tree blows right into his path. Desperate to evacuate, he doesn't even touch his brakes. In the coming hours, water continues pouring over the failed levees. And by the next day, 80% of New Orleans is underwater, with some parts as deep as 15 feet. The cost of the destruction will reach over $200 billion. The city that was once known for its carefree ways will forever be linked to a tragedy of epic proportions. Doug Kiesling was among the lucky ones to make it out of the disaster zone. But not before capturing the evolution of the most devastating natural disaster in U.S. history. A name that will live in infamy.
Trina. 